Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Attack of the Bee Team. Uh, I've been wanting to play this mod pack on YouTube for quite some time and uh, finally got a chance to... Whoops! That's not what I wanted. I don't care about the Open Blocks book. Uh, finally got a chance to, to do some recording. So here we go. Uh, we're going <laughs> to keep clicking on things that can't click and open in the book. Um, but we're going to gather some of these blackberries. That way we got a whoops, little little thing of food. Um, let's put this up here. Put this up here. That way we're not clicking on stuff that we can't really click on. Okay. Um, gather all the berries. Must have all the berries. And we need some wood. Uh, mud. Mud is ugly. Mud makes you go very slowly. And this is going to be kind of a resource slash maybe uh, basic base setup episode. Um, it's going to be a lot of building and stuff off camera. But I wanted to show you spawn. This is where we spawned in. Um, so let me get to work. We're going to gather some stuff. If I run across anything cool, I'll cut back in. And we'll see you in just a moment. All right, everybody. We're back. We've gone on some adventures, re recovered some stuff. Um, yeah. Little base set up right here, little place to sleep. Started a mine. Um, started clearing out a space down here that'll be more of a ter uh, permanent base. And also started working our way down and got to this very fruitful cave. Um, lots of redstone, some lapis, even a little bit of diamond. Um, so we'll gather that up here pretty quick. Uh, that's one of the things I absolutely love about Attack of the Bee Team is their ores are just everywhere. You don't have to go to certain levels. You just got to get lucky and find it. Um, but uh, I think I might have some big plans for this. I think this area right here will be very, very cool. Um, it seems kind of bat cave-ish, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and if that's the case, then we have to, of course, build an a giant mansion up here on top so that it can be like Wayne Manor. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. I think that'll be uh, I think that'll be something very cool and B team kind of lends itself to that kind of that kind of motif if you will. Uh, there's lots of there's enough technology in B team that we could make a very cool bat cave kind of thing. But I'll leave that up to you guys at least for the first few weeks, uh, first few episodes I should say. Um, you know, because if I wait for comments forever, I'll never get anything done. Um, but uh, this is where we're at so far, and when I come back again, uh, we'll probably be down in the mine doing some more mining, because we've got lots of, just lots of things we have to gather. So I did go on a little walkabout. I found some different things. I found a dispenser at one of those little witch's hut things. Uh, ice shards, a paintbrush. Paintbrushes kind of come in very handy, especially when we start building, building the house. Found a banana tree and got some banana saplings. I also got some of these colored saplings, and these colored saplings are going to prove to be very fruitful later. Also, uh, when we design our routing system, our item storage system, um, you have to have some of these magenta saplings. Let's see, it's part of Project Red. Um, P R O G or J, I'm sorry. Project Red. Um, I think it's on the last page. No, nope, not the last page. Uh, here we go. Routed junction pipes, routed interface pipes, routed crafting pipes, and so forth. Um, you can, uh, if you're familiar with applied energistics, you could build that whole ME system that would store all your stuff on these little storage drives. Well, in Project Red, 
you actually use these routed interface pipes, but it doesn't store it on, on like storage drives. It just uses chests. So there's nothing real special you have to build as far as sorting. Now it does take, like if we select this, it takes um, infused silicone, it takes diamonds, it takes red alumar, um, and in order to get that you have to have glowstone and you have to get uh, either s colored saplings or red dye. Now there's one, I think it might be the routed interface. Yeah, you got to have this green alumar. And the green alumar can be kind of complicated to find. If you don't find the green saplings or anything like that, then you might have to go and search out cactuses or whatever so you can get to dye. So we'll go on a hunt for all of that, but I just wanted to show you guys where we were, and we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, everybody, we're going to build something, but in order to build it, we got to go get some... Got to go get some shiny stuff. That shiny stuff. We need some gold. We need to build a pulverizer for a couple of reasons. Number one, we need to be able to double these ores. And number two, um, we need to make some Invar Blend. Um, Invar Blend is two iron, two pulverized iron, and a pulverized ferrous. And uh, I need that Invar Blend because I need to build an Invar Sword. And an Invar Sword is used in, um, in a grinder. I found a skeleton spawner while I was out and about on my little walkabout thing. Ooh, is it dark? It's dark. I need to sleep real quick. Kind of lucky nothing spawned in yet. Yep. Um, but yeah, I need to find, I need to get some Invar blend made up. So we're going to build a pulverizer and we're also going to build uh, some kind of dynamo setup. I got all this water right over here by me, so I can probably do something to generate some power. Uh, okay, so we need a piece of gold. What, well, got to smelt it first, dummy. Uh, ooh, more iron, yay. Um, let's do, yeah, let's just do half of that. Get that going real quick. I only need one piece but we'll get, you know, if to use our coal efficiently, we'll, we'll build more. Actually, I might need two, because this pulverizer, yep, yeah, it needs a machine frame, so I need two pieces. Uh, I think I got everything I need to build that machine frame. Okay, so, come over here, crafting bench, do this. Ooh, getting some lag, ooh boy that. Okay, that gives us that. We'll stick this right down here for now. And then we need another piece of gold. We need... Uh, where'd my glass go? I had glass. Did I not... Yeah, I made glass. Is that, is that down here? I don't know why it would be. Ooh, getting some serious lag. Oh, where did I put my glass? Did I not make it yet? I know I picked up a bunch of sand. And I'm sure that I cooked up the glass. Hmm. It's not in there. Oh, pfft, there it is. Okay, we're good. Alright, so glass. There, 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 there. Iron. One, two, three, four machine frame. Um, I already made the piston. Was that a piston that I needed for this one? Yes. I made the piston already. So put a piston in and we'll get these two pieces of flint. And what else did I need? Copper and that redstone coil. So copper here and redstone coil here. There's our pulverizer. Okay, we need to power it somehow, which means we are going.
going to need some kind of dynamo prop. Well, actually, do we have do we have generators in here? Come on. There we go. What do we got here? Combustion generators. Uh, okay, we don't have the ones that I was looking for. These are gen advanced genetics, and those are expensive. All right, let's go with a dynamo. Go with a dynamo. Dynamo, dynamo. Let's see. Steam, magmatic, compression, or reactant. I think we're going to have to go with the steam first. So we need a couple of copper gears, some copper, and then... Oh, that's silver. Do I have any silver yet? I don't think so. Okay, I'll be right back. i got to go find silver. Okay, we found some silver ore. So we'll get that real quick. Just clean this up real quick. Oh, there's lead too. We're going to need some of that lead eventually. We'll just grab that too. Silver, more silver, yeah. We'll get that. Oh, we've hit the mother load here. This is awesome. This is very, very awesome. My inventory full. My inventory's full. Of course it is. Um, don't need that anymore. And hmm, don't need a nice shard. That's probably good enough. Grab this coal a little bit. Not a lot. I mean, I'll keep it here because I know where it is. Some of that stuff. Get this. I'm glad I lit this mine up because, boy, oh boy, I don't feel like dying down here. Got some oreberry bushes. Yay. All right. And go back upstairs and we'll build this. even four. Okay, so we should have a couple of pieces of silver ready by now. Yep, good deal. Okay. Silver, silver, silver. Need one of those. We'll build this reception or transmission coil, I should say. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's aluminum. Darn it. Where's my silver at? I know I picked it up. There it is. <coughs> Silly boy. It's okay, we needed that some of that silver anyway. Or uh, not silver, but aluminum. All right, now we've got a silver ingot. Ooh, we're getting some lag here really have anything going on either. Okay, so, oops, that goes over there for right now. Need copper, or did it, was it tin gears? I think it was tin gears. No, it was copper gears, okay. Oh, I'm going to need to make some more copper. pieces of copper to get this gear going. The other gear. 
second. I think I need some more copper, just regular copper too. So I think I'll have just enough. If not, I know where to find more. Okay. Back over here. And one, two, and three, four. Copper gear. Okay. Whoops. No, don't need a bucket of water. Silly boy. Yeah. Okay, so I need three pieces of copper, which I have. All right, so copper gear, copper gear, coil. Um, was it redstone? Redstone, yep. Redstone right there. Go back out here, get this other little bit of copper. Okay. And... There we go. Steam dynamo. Okay, so I'm going to have to build some um, conductors also. I'm probably just going to use leadstone. Uh, leadstone energy conduit. Because that's about the cheapest thing right now since we're just getting just getting started. Um, yeah, leadstone energy is lead, glass, and redstone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do all that off camera. I'll get this all set up downstairs in what's going to be our permanent base and uh, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, here we go. We got a pulverizer pulverizing iron at the moment. Um, steam dynamo there. I also had to build, forgot all about that, but also had to build an aqueous accumulator and for that you just need water on two sides so I put one here and I put one back around the corner there um, there'll be a whole row of stuff here eventually um, but I think that's gonna do it for this episode that gets us started anyways I hope you've enjoyed this episode um, leave a uh, leave a like if you did leave some comments and tell me what you'd like to see in this in the next episodes um, but there is one thing I do want to work on later on and that is a grinder because if you look at my map um, you see some red dots up there in the upper right hand corner there's a skeleton spawner out there and I would love to build a grinder to get some mob essence out of that I'll just you know build myself a little hut go AFK and just fill up some tanks with mob essence and bring that back here uh, we'll build safari nets we'll get spawners going auto spawners and uh, and we'll we'll do this up all right so again hope you enjoyed this episode please leave a like if you did leave me some comments i'd love to hear your feedback and until next time we will see you later bye, -bye.